In today's video, we're checking out the Missing Link Audio Hot Lanta Cranked Amp in a Box Pedal. This is super cool if you're a fan of the Allman Brothers and the tones from the Fillmore East, or anything from like Gilmore to Page to Hendrix to Gibbons, you're gonna get a kick out of what this can do. Firstly, a massive thanks to Missing Link Audio for sending this out. I'll give you a proper rundown of the controls and what it can do in just a moment. Timestamps will be below. Here we go. Here's the pedal up close. Now the first thing you need to know about this is that it is a cranked amp sound, which means even with the gain all the way down to here, it's still gonna have dirt on the signal. If you really want it to clean up, it's very dynamic once you start using the volume control on your guitar. But just know, even with it most of the way down, it's still going to sound dirty. So it's a very different type of pedal. The level control controls how much output we get. The tone control is how bright the pedal is. And the voice control gives us the sounds of a JBL D120 speaker. I love this at around two o'clock. I think it sounds pretty great. In the center of the pedal here, we have a three-way toggle switch. In the middle, in position two, is my favorite. It's nice and clear on the top end and just gives you a lot of bite. But if you want to back it off and you're playing a really bright guitar, or if your amp's really bright, you can either select one, which attenuates the top end a little bit more, and three, which attenuates it that little bit extra. When it comes to the boost circuit, this allows you to get just a little bit more volume and a little bit more gain. It doesn't go crazy, but what it does, it does really well, and I'll showcase that in this video. We get the on-off switch over here. Just to let you know, the boost can't be used independent to the pedal itself. You need to have the pedal on for the boost to function. We get our nine volt DC input over here and side mounted jacks on the pedal. Maybe the biggest difference between something like this and your conventional tube screamer is this is a cranked amp in a box meaning you can get that sound at any volume on your clean channel. So it's not dependent on having the amp cranked to its maximum or to the sweet spot deafening you at the house. You can get it at a reasonable volume, which is the whole idea of this. So if you're doing gigs and you want that huge sound, but you have to turn down, this would be a really great choice. In today's video, I'm playing my Tokai Love Rock electric guitar. This is made in Japan. We're going into the clean channel of my Fender Supersonic 22 using the normal channel, which is voiced like a deluxe reverb. I'm going to start with some blues today because this pedal does a great dirty blues tone. This is my clean tone on neck. Here we go. Have a listen to the difference with the pedal on. Gain at 12 o'clock, toggle, switch in the center position, position two. Here we go. So 
So one of the things I've noticed immediately is how great the top end sounds, but also it doesn't get muddy on the low end. So let's play some notes in the higher frequency range. <laughs> And now for the low end notes. So it doesn't get muddy. To me, that sounds pretty cool. And now with the gain on the pedal down, but I'm also gonna start this part with my guitar volume down to show you how much it cleans up and also inadvertently how much gain this still has even with it down. Here we go. So it still has that off clean vibe now if I turn my guitar up. Yeah. And now with the gain cranked on the pedal, this is bridge pickup. Take a listen to this rhythm sound. Great sustain as well. Let's take a look at the three-way toggle switch. Now the cool thing about this is depending on what guitar you're playing and what amp you're using, you can get a vastly different sound depending on where you have it set. I like position two the best, the center position. It gives me more tops and a, a perceived loudness about it as well. Here we go. All right, position one. So it's sort of rolled off the tops a little bit. Over to position three. That's still very usable, but to my ear, it just needs a little bit more treble in that position. So you can just turn it up like this. Nice, so you can pick and choose which one works best for you. One of my favorite things about this pedal is the voice control. This is a speaker emulation of sorts. It brings in the classic sounds of a JBL D120, and I think it sounds great turned up at around two o'clock. So I'll start there and I'll show you some different settings. <laughs> Bring it down to about 12 o'clock. And most of the way down. I definitely like this cranked. It just gives us really great note definition and clarity on the note. Let's take a look at the tone control on the pedal now, starting with it most of the way to the left. Now the toggle switch is still in the center position, but this should give you a good indication of how much range there is within the tone control. So starting off with what I would consider a mellow top end on my Strat. Nice, now up at about 12 o'clock. That's borderline perfect for me. Just a little bit more tops would be great. So I'm just gonna put it up to about three o'clock. This might be a little bright, but we'll see how we go. So that's brighter than I would normally play, but I still think it's very versatile. If we back off the voice control here, this should sort of mellow out the top end a bit. And 
And lastly, let's take a look at the boost circuit. I'm gonna try this both on the Strat and then on the Les Paul. So with the Strat, I've got the toggle switch in the down position, going for a big, thick, creamy bridge pickup tone. So here we go. And now back to some humbuckers, thanks to my Tokai Love Rock. Now the pedal's exactly the same in terms of the controls, except I put the toggle switch back to position two. Here we go, bridge pickup. <laughs> Thanks for watching folks. My name's Shane, a massive thank you to Mark from Pendergrass, Georgia. That's as good as my Southern accent's gonna get. For sending this out for the review, I really appreciate it. The Hot Lanta does a number of things really well. I'm gonna talk about that right now, but if you wanna check it out, I'll link it down below. So the first thing to love about this is it sounds like a cranked amplifier and like a Marshall cranked with a JBL. And if that's the sound you're going for, you can definitely get it out of this. I love the fact you don't have to have your amplifier cranked to get the most out of it. It's designed to work at any volume with a clean channel amplifier. You don't have to go pushing your amp to, you know, the sweet spot up at six or whatever the case may be and deafen everybody. You can have your amp down at practice levels click this on and it's still gonna sound really good. It does sound a little bit better once you get your volume just up to a regular audible volume. But once you get it there, this pedal can take care of the rest, giving you that big full sound. And it also sounds great on the top and low end. It sounds nice and clear, and it never seemed to get muddy on the low end. Now I should preface that by saying, I really like the toggle switch in the center position, especially for humbuckers. That's the sweet spot in my opinion. For strats or telecasters, whatever the case may be, then you can experiment around with it a bit more, but the middle position is by far my favorite on this pedal. When it comes to the boost control, the cool thing about it is it just gives you a little bit more, a little bit more volume and gain with just a little bit more tops, which is great because sometimes when you click in a boost, conventionally things can get a bit muddy, but it doesn't with this and that's really cool. While there's a lot to like about this, the only small thing to be aware of is even with the gain down, you're not going to get a clean tone. It always sounds like an amplifier already over the edge, which is pretty sweet. But if you want those cleaner tones, you can start using the volume control on your guitar and that's how you'll get it to clean up. Thanks again for watching. Let me know what you think of this. I'll link it down below. Thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya.